Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Adventures of E-Man. And this is I, E-Man 5000, coming to you today from the Circle of Trees. And on my last live stream, this is how far I got. As you can see, I have completed this background, the sky. Put in a little bit of trees in the background and make it, give it a little bit more depth. And also, I have signs put up of the ver the designated trees that we have. Uh, let's go in and show you really quick. Um, right here we have a turkey, or actually it's a really a chicken, um, but I, it's it's gonna, it's really a turkey because this is the Thanksgiving tree. This is the firework tree, which I think might be New Year's. It also could be Fourth of July. But Tim Burton seems to do more international, like rec more international recognized things, and so I would say New Year's. And then right here we have Halloween, obviously with the pumpkins and the jack lanterns, pretty cool. Uh, we have a Christmas tree right here. Um, at least if we go into uh, options, resource packs, pumpkin. Uh, pumpkin patch let's do that and done we'll see that it looks more like a Christmas tree than it did there we go see and there's the rest of uh, everything um, this is redstone but it is dead and it's uh, done upside down to look like a heart for Valentine's Day uh, this is a lily pad but it's designated to be a, a four-leaf clover which we have um, designated to be St. Patrick's Day and then the Easter egg for Easter. So pretty cool. I did some landscaping. Um, most of this was just randomly generated, or I just randomly put uh, bone meal on the ground to uh, give some more depth and some more character to this area. Uh, right here we have um, uh, coarse dirt, which does not grow grass. Um, yeah, so pretty interesting. Um, just wanted to show you what I've done. Uh, as you can see at the top, the cobblestone is still showing because I don't have enough clay. Um, but that's okay. So, um, yeah. We also, I'm going to get back in F5 mode just to, uh, say, talk to you a little bit about the uh, channel and how it's doing. I'm very excited to tell you that 212 views have been viewed on my channel. Wow, my nose is plugging up uh, for, for no reason. Okay. Uh, I'm very excited to tell you that uh, 212 v views on my channel. Um, pretty amazing and pretty cool. Uh, it's been four or five, three or four or five months. Um, since I started, and it's been a lot of fun to uh, build this world with you guys. Um, also, I have 18 subscribers, which is great, and I'm so happy. Um, every day that I look on my channel, uh, the numbers grow and grow, and you can see that through the, uh, the uh, not Google, but um, YouTube analytics. Um, so I'm very happy and pleased, and I am excited for the coming months and um, for you guys to keep watching. And I hope you guys are too. Uh, let's go. I don't know where we're going, but let's go to the overworld where we will continue our landscaping um, and kind of go back into my cliffhanger that I did the other day. Let's uh, put my... Uh, what my other view up right that view up that I can see my sword with um, nobody's all around oh out uh, yeah I really like this texture pack I don't know if I've used it on I can't remember if I've used it on YouTube but I have used it on um, where are all the mobs there they are um, I have used it on my live stream and I enjoy it. It gives a little bit of a change to everything and uh, keeps me motivated to uh, um, build things because like every time I make a new text or do a, put on a new texture pack, um, this house looks different and the house 
down there looks different and that's just really cool and amazing uh, let's go inside sleep off the night and we shall be get up I guess I'll just uh, leave this texture pack on for the remainder of this video um, I hope you guys don't mind uh, maybe I'll change it back in, in the next cutscene um, just because I need to see what things look like without this texture pack. Sometimes it can be a little uh, tough to see um, if it would look good in, an, in the de default texture. Uh, so yeah, anyways, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Um, what I, well actually I'm going to go over around here. Um, don't see any creepers. Creepers don't creep up on me. Um, yeah, so we're going to go over here and uh, we're going to cut all this out and then create a new uh, a new canvas and I'll show you that right after I get this done. So hold on one sec. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to uh, Minecraft Adventures of E-Man. Um, yeah, so I was going to get something done over by the waterfall, but I got distracted and decided to work on some more landscaping around because I wanted to build this uh, hillside up a little bit better to make it look better and kind of flow with the uh, with the house um, but um, after hour a couple hours of work on it or at least it felt like a couple hours I got frustrated and wasn't feeling the creative vibes anymore so I took a break um, and so now it's been a couple days since I have uh, recorded um, and I am willing to record with you guys again to try to hammer this out a little bit more um, and trying to figure this stuff out with you guys. Um, and also I'll do a little bit of more off camera work. Um, I want to get this done before I get the waterfall done. Um, because I think that it'll be better to see the, um, to see the landscaping flow in with the, uh, waterfall. So we'll, we'll figure that out together. Um, so as you can see, I have a few tiers that I am working on. Um, so it'll go like uh, top tier, going down to the lower tier, going down to the bottom tier. Um, I may put like a river through here and plants and stuff. And uh, uh, maybe have uh, different areas of waterfalls over here. Not sure yet. We will just have to figure out what. Um, I am planning. What I try to do is do a half circle or a quarter pipe circle type of thing through here, but it's too big. So I decided just to go kind of with the natural landscape instead of and take this down instead of um, instead of trying to make an exact circle, uh, just because it's quicker for one thing than trying to figure out what what uh, dimensions the circle needs to be, and also it's. Um, it will look, I think it'll look better than just having circles. I'm not sure yet. I'm still figuring it out. Uh, yeah. So, here we go. Um, I think what I want to do, um, let me just go check over here. Uh, what I have is a four, uh, block high elevation for the first tier and then three block high for the second tier. Um, think that I want to bring down the first tier one or maybe just bring it down to the water level no I think I want to bring it down by one that would make it look a little bit better so that maybe if you just got a little higher in elevation you'd be able to see the beauty of the first tier so I will uh, step off camera for a little bit and figure this out and then I'll be back and give you an update so I'll uh, see you in a little bit. Bye. Okay. Um, just brought the uh, tier down one uh, block of elevation. I think I like it, actually. And I, actually, I really um, didn't mean to do it, but 
um, I left one block, uh, one uh, stone block um, to step up to the next level. And I really like how that elevation changed from like just one to a three elevation. Or from, if it was just all flat, it would be a four elevation. But now it goes steps up one and then goes to a three block elevation. Three block is, I, I think that that is most aesthetically pleasing because we're a two block high uh, figure. Um, so like as you can see right here, I am... Uh, I am two blocks high. So in a normal world, a lot of things are like the ceilings in our houses are 12 foot or eight to 12 feet because they're, you don't want to feel too small in your house. Whereas if it was any higher, it would be, you'd feel like a midget basically. Um, I think that's why we like it. The, the headroom, I would say to be that tall um so yeah i like this stone and i'm gonna switch all this cobblestone to stone and kind of mix in cobblestone with it to make it look a little bit worn um so i have no fear it's not gonna be just cobblestone walls that uh, i would just look atrocious and yes i did use the word atrocious so call me mary mary poppins if you'd like but um Anyways, uh, another thing I want to implement here is some uh, modern art t style of um, lines and stuff. So I may uh, make lines that kind of do a little bit of a uh, slant um, to kind of uh, to kind of look give it a little bit more interest. The walls a little bit more interest. If the, I'm making any sense today. Uh, <laughs> then great. I hope I am because I feel like I'm not. Um, hopefully I will. And look at that. That's from a creeper. Um, if you didn't watch my live stream, that's what happened. I don't know if I just, I told you that already, but yeah, anyways. Um, uh, back in my cottage right now, something I do want to talk to you guys about is, uh, last week I was fortunate and able to go to the uh, end session I talked about in my last episode, the end session with uh, Alta J. And it was about, it was really fun. Um, and I kind of want to talk to you guys about that just because it was so fun and such a cool experience I wanted to share with you. Um, so Alt J is kind of an alternative, chill. They, uh, their music is very chill and relaxing. Um, some would call it boring, but I think it's interesting. It's it's different um, than most uh, than anything I've ever heard before, um, and it was really cool. There was about maybe sixty of us, I'd say, um, all together, um, just kind of hanging out, um, and uh, we got to be in what's called uh in seattle the seattle center has uh a place called the chihuly gardens and it's featuring a, an artist a glass artist dale chihuly and his um his glass art that he makes if you don't know J dale chihuly look him up right now uh you can stop watching my video even to look him up because he's such a great artist and my family has been uh, following him and his art for, uh, for as long as I can remember anyways. So, a uh, very talented artist and very inspired. Um, so check him out. He's really cool. Um, and he does really cool things with glass art. He's got an eye patch, which makes him really gnarly. Anyways, getting off topic. Um, so, uh, we were in this, uh, glass atrium, um, of uh, Dale Chihuly's art and listening to this band and it was so cool just being able to be in there that kind of artistic atmosphere and hearing this band that just I mean it's all acoustic so that made it really cool too um, but it was just like really awesome laid back chill uh, pretty cool they have the most uh, one of the thicker uh, 
English acts, or British accents that I've heard in quite a while. So when they talk, you can barely understand them. When you when they sing, you can barely understand them. Um, but you can understand them just enough to be like, oh, okay, I think they said something. I think they said this, you know, in their songs. Um, one of their biggest songs right now is called Left Hands Free. Um, they didn't actually play that song. They played a song called Tessellate, which is one of my... It's not really an appropriate song for children, but it is a very uh, interesting song, to say the least, and I, I actually enjoy that song. Um, I think it's got a good sound to it. Um, but, the I mean, the acoustics in a glass, a purely glass atrium, isn't going to be lend the best to acoust like to a jam session um but for what it was worth it was for i mean it was worth nothing it was a free concert um and a close-up concert at that with just a f few amount of people uh pretty awesome to see uh yeah uh, one of, we had a my sister and i had this adventure Go, getting there um, I got off work early to go and she uh, just needed a ride to the uh, well we have ferry boats to get us across the water to Seattle because we live on, uh, on the uh, Kitsap Peninsula or if you uh, don't know where that is just look it up on a map um, but uh, so we had to get get on the boat to uh, um, get across the water to Seattle, and uh, um, she ended up not having a ride available, so I had to pick her up. We were late, or we missed the first boat that we wanted to catch, and uh, ended up uh, catching the next boat afterwards. So, I mean, it was a hassle, and we thought we were going to miss the concert. We, were, we got to Seattle 15 minutes before the uh, um, things started and we were just like we got to get there so we like catch a taxi really fast and because um, I don't like getting taxis because they're expensive um, but so we catch a taxi or hail a taxi and uh, get there right at two and in Seattle Seattle Center is pretty big so it was just like we uh, get there and we see the eight the place where we need to go but we are going to be late so we just run book it book it and finally we get there and there's a line and we ended up waiting for like 30 minutes anyways i'm tr i'm trying to tell a story here and um landscape at the same time which is t it's a little difficult but i think i'm actually doing okay uh, i stopped doing what i was doing for a second um but i'm back at it so yeah, so it was really cool um, when we got there, or it was cool that we got there on time. I'm so glad. Um, when we got there, uh, we basically, uh, she's supposed to be on the list because she called in advance to say that she won the tickets and they put her, then they would put her on the list. Uh, she wasn't on the list. They were like, "What's your name?" And she told her, told them their name, her name, and it was like, uh, "Who are you?" And you're not on the list. And it was just like a night at the Roxbury type of thing. It was just like, uh, excuse me, uh, I excuse me. We should be on the list. We're I mean, we won tickets, <laughs> and uh, we, di we didn't say it like that. Tommy, uh, I mean, my sister, uh, what's that her name? Dang it. Uh, my sister was, uh, was like, is, plays the role of the cute girl who, um, who gets into pretty much anything if she, uh, if she, uh, looks like she's supposed to be there you know um and so she they're like well okay we'll let you in basically they were gonna call that or they were tr trying to contact their boss about us um and what ended up happening was 
I don't know if they were able to contact them because I didn't see them contact them. Um, but they just let us on in anyways, which is really nice of them. They didn't have to do that. Um, and I'm glad that they did, but so I'm just going to make this rough, uh, tier right here. Uh, and I'm rhyming my words. Didn't mean to do that. I'm just going to make this rough, uh, landscape of kind of the shape I want to get it in and we'll see what it looks like from here. This was not what I was planning on doing today, um, though it looks as if that is this is going to be the entire the episode um, of just making this uh, happen. So let's see here. Um, I mean, the, it's a huge jump. It's how many blocks is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks high. I don't like that. Um, it's probably going to look extremely uh, tall. Yeah, it's really tall. And I, d I won't, don't like even like the seeing the dirt there. Hmm. I think that we should uh, make smaller tiers towards the top so uh so one two three let's do that um like put some stone blocks here like that um to tear it up just a little bit um then put a ledge here and see where we go from there Okay, so there's what it looks like so far. Tell me what you guys think in the description below. Um, do you have any suggestions? Do you have any thoughts on it? Uh, it's definitely rough. I mean, if I point over, over here is not finished at all. Um, so, I mean, basically the sections I'm looking at is from here till about here. Um, and we're probably going to like put dirt and mixed dirt, cobblestone, gravel in there uh, just to kind of make it look uh, a little bit uh, more realistic because it's not just going to be one uh, straight cobblestone look all the way around. Um, there's going to be like bushes in there and flowers and waterfalls and all sorts of things hopefully that's what I'm thinking at least uh, yeah so I mean with the here's the thing with the waterfall that I was uh, hinting to last uh, last week when I posted my last video um, I mean I still need a little bit more time to figure out exactly what I'm gonna do with that to kind of hone in on my inspiration so what I what I do when I am feeling uh, like I'm I, kind of like a writer's block type of thing is I work on something else and then I look at this again um, to see what I can do with it. Um, I'm thinking because what I was thinking right here, like underneath the waterfall as the canvas, have a kind of marbly look with dark um like maybe coal or um or uh, think uh obsidian something like that um mixed in with it so maybe you'll have like veins of coal or something going through this whole thing kind of give it some t some marble look to it, the, all of the uh, walls I think that would look really cool, especially with the modern theme. You like to, I mean, I like to see some marble in the, uh, in like a kitchen or something. If I had a, a modern style kitchen, I'd put like marble countertops or something like that. Uh, so yeah, that's basically what I'm thinking right now. And I mean, this whole support thing needs to be more supported. So this is going to wrap all the way around and then hit this to give it some more structure um, and then wrap around kind of in a half moon shape there 
um, where there's going to be a spot to uh, barbecue maybe or like some chair lawn chairs and some uh, different things to uh, make this place, this area look like you could actually uh, um, have a party here or like a, or a barbecue or a bonfire or something like that. So yeah, pretty cool. I think that it's shaping up a little bit. Um, I might close out in a second, uh, depending on how much time I have, I have to check. Um, but yeah, so that's basically where I'm at here. Um, I'm probably going to finish out this wall and kind of give it a little bit more look before I see you in a bit. So I'll see you th then. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, we did some work today. Um, look at this. This is the path out. Um, what are just supposed to look like stone steps out of the yard. That way we don't trample on our grass that we mow every day um, to make it look like that. Um, I don't know if I showed you this yet, but I uh, decided to mow a perimeter around the yard um, just because it kind of connects everything pretty well. And then it just goes straight here because if we mow uh, lines here, it would just look ridiculous and it would be way too much work for us to mow um, in real life. So that's how uh, the mowing went. Um, oh, and I didn't want to show you the wall yet. Um, well, let me know what you guys think about the wall. I um, kind of like this. It's kind of like this when which um, before I had andesite and all the other stones that are like I've come out in the new update. Um, everything kind of blends really well. Um, I, I wanted to put a little bit of a geological feature in to the wall. Um, so I decided to my, maybe coal veins would be pretty cool to put in, um, or at least remnants of coal in the wall. Um, or it could be like marble walls, uh, whatever. But there we go, right there. I'll sh uh, snapshot that. Um, what do you guys think? I think it looks, I think it's a work in progress. I think that it doesn't look amazing but it, it looks pretty good um i might just do away with the coal altogether uh in your car in the comments please let me know if you want to leave the coal uh it kind of gives it a marbly look um or just uh forget about the coal maybe it's too much contrast for the rest of the wall it kind of like distracts from what we want to showcase, which is the house. Um, but I mean, then again, this is not really the best side of the house to showcase. It doesn't really look like much unless you get around the corner. And the wall is going to end up wrapping around the corner, so it probably will distract from the house then. Um, yeah, that's what I think. Uh, maybe I'll do, maybe I'll just do less. Cool. Believe me, before I started recording, um, I just had like straight lines that looked like uh, veins of coal uh, that went through, uh, and it looked it distracted way too much from the wall itself. Um, yeah, I kind of want this to be to look more handmade than natural, but I kind of want a little natural uh, influence in it as well. Um, but yeah, I put a yard. One one thing I really like about it is I put like a small green area right here, um, just so we can uh, step. Or if we're on this tier, we can get down to the water easily, and we can get up easily as well. I might put in some secret uh, staircases or something in here. I really like this part where I kind of just put a staircase to like show a little bit of wear here. Uh, sorry, my heater just went on and it kind of uh, scared me a little bit. I'm all alone in this house after all. Um, so yeah, we have green patches here. Uh, we'll probably turn this into a clay yard, um, freshly mowed yard, but have some 
um, cool features of like roses, rose bushes, and and uh, green bushes and uh, flowers and whatever. Uh, or maybe we'll just leave it as this grass. Uh, we could actually leave it as this grass. We wouldn't. I, mean, I don't know. A rich person in a mansion, a modern mansion like this, would probably have someone take care of the entire yard, um, and probably would have this mode all uh, very nice, just like the top yard. So we might just actually mow it. Oh, uh, I might put use the, make this into uh, coarse dirt where that doesn't grow grass. That way we can grow some bushes, some a lot of green here to kind of just grow up into this area. Maybe we'll put a tree even in there. Um, and then I really like this little natural feature right here. So this stone go wraps around in here, but creates another uh, half tier um, out this way, if you can imagine that. Um, let me know what you guys think. I really would love some input. Um, I did, uh, get to talking to a, um, viewer that, or at least a subscriber that I really, um, I'm really glad I got to talk to them. Uh, what was their name? Border Jumpers is their name. It's a group, a couple people that are starting out and YouTubing. I just wanted to give them a shout out in the video. Um, and say that uh, I really enjoyed talking to you guys. We talked about uh, how I started up, uh, what software I'm using for recording and all that. Uh, we chatted up a little bit um, on Google+. Plus. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool and uh, I like the unique uh, chat I get with anybody who uh, subscribes or views. I love hearing from you guys um, and I see even though I haven't been putting out uh, videos every day um, I see a lot of support and a lot more views coming in um, each week actually I've, I've noticed a huge uh, or a trending upward uh, trend in viewers and so I'm really happy about that uh, I'm sorry I'm getting a little talky right now, but I just wanted to pour out my heart just then. Um, thank you guys for watching every one of my episodes, or at least some of my episodes. Any of, uh, of my episodes, I'm happy for our viewers. Um, just wanted to, let, while I close out, just want to show you guys my bling. Um, went mining for some stone and uh, uh, came out with a lot of diamond. Uh, very happy about that, um, and I guess I'm just happy in general according to my commentary right now. So uh, I will leave you now, and thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video didn't go too long. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.